Yes. <laughs> Dr. Millie in the house. All right. I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of what we eat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. Most people, hopefully on this planet, know that exercise is a health habit that they should be doing on a fair, fairly regular basis. But what I'm hearing you say is detox and drainage and all the things we're about to dive into, there needs to be a protocol for your life on a daily basis that you are doing these things. Otherwise, toxins are building up, leading you to chronic disease. Is that what, is yeah, that correct? Perfectly stated. Absolutely. Like if I wanted to get fit exercise wise, I know I can hire a personal trainer. I can go to the gym. I could run. I mean, there's, there's so many ways we can go about that. But when we look at a daily life of detox, mm -hmm. you no, know, we've got celery juice, we've got fasting, yeah. we've got, you know, a lot of really cool things, but how, what would a daily life of detox look like in your book and, and drainage? Cause I, I think that's important to put that in there as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the first principles of detoxification, even in drainage is, you know, we want to avoid exposure as much as possible. So really being highly educated on what can you in, feel empowered to do on a daily basis to make the healthiest choices as possible. We just have to accept, you know, we're on the planet, it's toxic, we all chose to be here right now, and we're going to do the best we can, you know, and yeah. so and with that premise, you know, just really simple principles, clean food, clean air, clean water, you know, do what you can within your home environment. I also am a big believer in the power of sleep and having a healthy mm. sleeping location to help um, just our bodies detoxify at night and have a, you know, really um, supportive, you know, hormones and your immune system and all of that. You know, the water that we get out of the tap is not the healthiest. And so we need to filter it from fluoride uh, and chlorine. And then there's all sorts of other, you know, unfortunate chemicals and even pharmaceuticals and aluminum and all sorts of things that get into our water. So step one, get a water filter and then you can go down the rabbit hole with water.